Hey everybody, today's snapshot 18w45a was released and a new block was added, the scaffolding block. That's a block I've been waiting for because it's kind of interesting to see how it works. Alright, so there's a lot of properties of this block. You can get it by crafting. You need to arrange six bamboo and a string like this and then you can get six scaffolding blocks. Alright, so the scaffolding is mostly used, yeah, <laughs> as the name says, for scaffolding. Uh, you can quick place blocks if you click the block below the scaffolding, then it keeps placing blocks above. I haven't seen a limit, I think this goes up to sky limit, in case you just click long enough. And additionally, uh, you can also walk in the scaffolding and translocate through it. So if you press space like you do with a ladder, you would go up. And if you press left shift by default, then you would go down. The climbing speed and descending speed is just as fast as a ladder. So this is actually good news, it's not an overpowered, super fast elevator block. But I think it's still weird that you can walk into it. I would actually prefer if you can cl climb the outside or something like this. Definitely what I would prefer. But yeah, that's how it works at the moment. I still think it's a bit weird. Uh, interestingly, you can also attach blocks to the side, like the ladders here, but also tripwire hooks, torches, buttons, which is kind of cool. Uh, but interestingly, you can't attach signs to the side. Okay, then more properties of the scaffolding block. You can't push it with pistons. If you tried it, then it would immediately break. And if you break the lowest scaffolding block, then all the scaffolding blocks above would also collapse. So this works similar to Chorus Fruit. Alright, you can also pillar to the side or stack blocks on the side, but there's only a certain limit. And you can also check this with the F3 menu. There is a tag now, distance zero, so similar to the leaf blocks. Uh, and it works like this. If you place scaffolding blocks on top of other scaffolding blocks, it would inherit the distance. And if you place them on the side, then it would increase by one. So this scaffolding block now has distance one. If I add another one, we have distance two. And if you place another one above, then all of those would also have distance two. So you can keep going with this until you reach distance uh, four. And then if you try to attach another scaffolding block to it, uh, it would fall down. Okay, then yeah, one way around this issue would be to add more scaffolding blocks at the bottom. So you always need another pillar block in order to support the rest. Uh, one workaround for this would be to uh, add another block and then can go to the side, but this is obviously not really convenient. So if you try to attach blocks at the bottom, you would also just fall down. You can also use the scaffolding block as a fuel. You need four scaffolding blocks in order to smelt one item. Alright, so a falling Scaffolding block would also behave like a falling sand block. For example, it floats above fences. And there's also an yeah, interesting behavior right now. If the scaffolding block is placed on a non-full block, then it shakes. So there's probably a check that malfunctions. And yeah, as you can see, it seems like the scaffolding block is changing states all the time. Clock would also, an observer would also detect that. So you could make a simple, fast-paced clock with the scaffolding block and an observer, but it's probably better to just use two observers and a bit also a clock. I think also this will probably be fixed at some point. Alright, then also interesting property, you can use the scaffolding block as a signal transfer, very similar to the leaf stone. So we've got some scaffold stone, <laughs> I guess. Uh, and it also yeah, uses this distance tag. So if you would remove a block below the right column of scaffolding blocks, the distance tag would change from 0 to 1, which the observer could detect. But yeah, it does that only every tick. So similar to the leaf blocks, uh, so you don't have any instant signal transfer, but it's still, for example, faster than doing it with an observer every block. So this would be um, one block vertically every two, game ticks or each register tick and this would be every game tick so 20 blocks per second we also tried something else mobs can also climb the scaffolding block in case they pathfind see oh yeah here we got some villagers going up 
So that's quite interesting. Also, the going through the scaffolding block only works uh, on the downwards way if the scaffolding block has a distance of zero. So you can climb up and also descend, but it's only work. Uh, you can only climb up if it's uh, the distance zero. So here I can climb this, but I can't descend again. Probably the reason is so you can't just fall down if you accidentally click left shift. Alright, so those were all the experiments we did with the scaffolding block on the first snapshot day, but I'm quite sure we'll find more quirks and applications for it. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video, bye bye!